Cool by Catless may not has everybody's attention, but a few of you it will. This is very to stick and this is the full review for the Cool Bat Catalyst. When you decide to buy a low price tag for any phone, you're not going to be expecting to get the high premium built construction for the phone. But the phone, as any other Android phone, you have power, will be on the right, from the bottom, the USB 2, no USB-C, the microphone, and from the left, the volume records, and from the top, you will see the audio jack, and the back, actually, something beautiful in this device, you have the 5 megapixel noise cancellation, flash, and sand back feeling, a really nice, beautiful, no fingerprint magnet, uh, or uh, the phone doesn't uh, celebrate the phone a little bit heavy but that's acceptable for the price tag and is not very much uh, uh, stable if you put the phone on the table but it's not a lot so very much I don't have too much complaint for that price for the design the display as we said is 5 inch so the size of the display it's really good and very acceptable you have no LED notification lights on the display for notification as well I'm previewing some uh, high quality content from YouTube as you guys can see the, the, the quality of the screen it's the worst thing in that phone maybe if you are on low light you should have no problems the ppi is very low with this display you have only 196 and the resolution is 480p that means you have a 480 time 854 the maximum resolution you can go with uh 480p on youtube as well 5 inch 480p in my opinion it's very acceptable but one thing i want to explain to you that the screen is very much washed out so when you look to any content on that display you're not going to be able to see everything nice and clear and vivid as the other uh, smartphones and this is in my opinion one of the worst thing in that device the screen i'm very dissatisfied with but for that price I'm not gonna even complain too much. It made from the TFT, which is the cheapest material for any display. The speaker on the phone it will be located on the back of the phone. It's gonna be in this area specifically. As unexpected, honestly, the speaker, it's very loud and it has very nice uh, sound quality. Uh, this is weird because even the mid-range phones like we have reviewed, like the J7, or the Galaxy on 5 or even the uh, LG Stylo 2 Plus I wasn't satisfied with the sound of the speaker but that phone actually uh, made me satisfied especially for that price you guys pay you're not gonna be expecting everything's good but the speaker it does the great job Before I talk about battery, I want to just let you know that the battery is removable in this phone so you can uh, technically pop the back and then you will see that you have removable battery it's a 2200 milliamp power in my opinion does a great job and I don't have a lot of complaint about the battery performance I mean that's back to too many reason uh, the processor is not the high processor so the phone doesn't require too much uh, power to consume more from the battery and you can uh, tell from the screen how it's dim and washed out and it's TFT it's not going to consume a lot of juice but overall it, that phone give me uh, like from three hours to four hours of screen on time I could do more or better if I have the brightness on on the auto actually but I can't the screen it's very dim and it's very bad and very horrible so I have to keep the phone always on the uh, high brightness if the battery is the thing don't be afraid from the battery performance it will be within the average of the other smartphone with the same range the price now we're going to talk about the hardware of the phone 
The phone is running by Snapdragon uh, 210 chipset, which is 1.1 uh, gigahertz for the, the processor. It will be a quad core processor, and you have 8 gigabytes for internal storage. You will have 5 gigabytes after everything pre-installed. In my opinion, very decent. Also, you can extend the memory card up to 32 if you want a more uh, memory. Uh, this is the lowest score on Geekbench, 293 and 966 and for the multi-core score, single core score 93 in 2016 uh, we don't see lower than this score in my opinion it will just does the job fine and we're gonna test this out by playing some a few games on the phone and also let me test the subway surface and let's gonna uh, see the performance this game, in my opinion, you should be able to play it with any smartphone in 2016 with no lag or no problems. And as you guys can notice, the phone doesn't drop no frames. That's back to the GPU Adreno uh, 302, which is we saw this in multi phones like the K7 and the HTC. And so if you guys have experience with these phones, you should uh, have the same quality for the pictures and the GPU overall in general. Also we do have the Pokemon Go. A lot of uh, people ask if you can play the game on the on this device or some of the other devices. In my opinion the, the game is gonna look nice on that phone but two main things I want to explain to you it's gonna limit you from playing the game if you go to the application called uh, sensor box for Android you're gonna guys notice that that phone doesn't support gyro uh, scope and there is no orientation sensor as well so this will limit you uh, from playing a Pokemon Go or any games require these uh, features and the 360 VR as well the phone came with a lollipop Android 5.1.1 so the phone has no marshmallow and I don't think so cool bad they gonna push marshmallow updates but the lollipop it's very uh, good operating system and shouldn't give you a lot of problems very much that phone is not customized it's based on the stock android so when you have that phone there is a lot of application will be pre-installed in the phone like the hotspot metro pcs application google and play store or uh, google application nothing really amazing or no any other feature i can talk in this phone no screen mirroring no nfc so you will have uh, technically some toggles of over here hotspot you will have uh, uh, a certain icon here on the notification and you can switch off the Bluetooth airplane mode and stuff like that and since that phone has the everything very much stuck for people asking for emojis it should comes with the uh, Android emoji you have just to go to enter button over here and you will see the stock emojis from Android uh, not too much things to talk about the software, so if you had phone before and you want to get that phone, very much you will have the same experience. The camera in the phone you will have for the rear 5 megapixel, you have a flash as you guys can see, and you have three modes, either to choose video and you have 720p, you don't have full HD or photos, and you can go to pro and change the mode from here. You have some uh, beauty uh, face and night mode normal HDR, which is kind of good and cool. Uh, but you can adjust this by go to the manual mode, and you will have uh, three things or four things over here. So you can adjust the brightness, and you can play with the ISO if you would, and the focus, which is in my opinion very neat. The aperture is 2.4, so you don't have good aperture for the camera. But we're gonna review some of the photo that I have already taken before. So this is inside the room. I was trying to see how the text quality will be it's acceptable but even looking to the picture in this display is not going to give you the same experience so I'm gonna put those pictures after I review the camera so you guys can see them with a bigger size and we have outside some pictures over here I didn't notice any problems outside it just perform good when you have enough light these some uh, phones sample that is for the selfie so you have two megapixel as you guys can see everything on the background it's white and the color all like uh, mixed up which is very bad uh, selfie camera as you guys can notice so even look from the light where it's coming actually it makes the picture it doesn't look right at all 
these just a few samples I want to review them for you but if you guys be expecting a lot from the camera don't expect because the camera it's just less than basic camera perform daily things <music> I want to tell you that from a few days I have used that phone it, the phone at least didn't give me lag or problems I was very satisfied with the quality of the phone compared to the price so no problems no lagness everything very optimized with the phone made for specific people they're willing to spend less on the phone they don't care much about phones and they are on the low budget and that was very much it wish you guys find the review very helpful for you if you did enjoy find it helpful please smash the thumbs up and subscribe more for variety stick as always guys i see you in my next one